Navigating life and language. Understanding, find one's bearings. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into an interesting English phrase that's not only useful but also quite visual in its meaning. Find one's bearings. This phrase is a gem in both everyday English and in more metaphorical contexts. So, if you've ever wondered about its origins, how to use it in a sentence, or its significance, you're in the right place. Let's get started and unravel the mystery together. Originally, the phrase, find one's bearings, comes from navigation. Imagine a sailor at sea, using a compass or stars to figure out which direction they're heading. In this sense, to find one's bearings, means to determine one's position relative to the surroundings. It's about knowing where you are, which direction you're facing, and how you can navigate to your destination. Moving beyond the literal, find one's bearings, has a broader, metaphorical application. It means to gain an understanding of one's situation, to feel oriented after being confused or lost, or to become accustomed to a new environment. Whether you're starting a new job, moving to a new city, or learning something outside of your comfort zone, finding your bearings is all about getting comfortable and familiar with your new circumstances. Let's put this phrase into action with some examples. 1. After moving to London, it took me a few weeks to find my bearings, but now I can navigate the tube like a local. 2. Starting a new job can be overwhelming, but give yourself time to find your bearings, and you'll soon feel right at home. 3. When you first start learning a new language, it's normal to feel lost. With practice, you'll find your bearings and begin to understand more and more. These examples show how versatile the phrase is, applicable to physical, professional, and educational scenarios. Feeling lost or disoriented can be challenging, but there are ways to help yourself find your bearings. Take it one step at a time, don't rush yourself. Learn and explore at a pace that feels comfortable to you. Ask questions. Whether you're in a new city or job, asking questions can help clarify your doubts and speed up the acclimatization process. Use resources. Maps, guides, tutorials, and mentors can be invaluable in helping you navigate new territories, both literally and figuratively. Find one's bearings is more than just a phrase. It's a useful concept for navigating both the physical world and the metaphorical challenges we face in life. Remember, feeling lost at first is normal, but with patience and effort, you'll find your bearings in no time. We hope this video has shed some light on this interesting phrase and made your journey in learning English a bit more enjoyable. If you found this helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more insights into the English language. Until next time, keep exploring and stay curious.